In 2014, a group of students in San Francisco wondered whether eating along the street was a good idea. We especially wondered about Columbus Avenue, which was close to our homes. We saw traffic increasing along Columbus Avenue, and we saw new restaurants opening. How did these two events work together? Is it really an environmental collision of some sorts? We also saw members of our community put a small parklet on Columbus, where a couple of parking spaces were removed so that an outdoor sitting area could be built. Was this safe, being so close to cars? With all of these questions, we decided to take air pollution samples right at the street level where people ride their bikes, walk, but more importantly, right where they eat. With a little help from our friends, we acquired a PM 2.5 particulate meter with real-time readouts. A meter for nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, humidity, temperature, and also devices to measure sound along the street. This film documents our discovery and some answers to our questions. We call it Columbus Discovers Air Pollution. Columbus Avenue is one of the two streets in San Francisco, the other being Market Street, that cut diagonally across the city's grid. This area is considered the downtown of North Beach and is the heart of San Francisco's restaurant district. Along Columbus are many restaurants, most with outdoor seating areas. The sidewalk and North Beach were narrowed after World War II and are approximately 9 feet wide. The outdoor tables restaurants used as shown here are approximately three feet wide. This leaves a distance of approximately six feet between the eating areas and parked cars. Columbus Avenue has had increased traffic the past few years as people use Columbus as opposed to the Embarcadero as a way of getting from the Golden Gate Bridge to downtown San Francisco. Restaurant activity and many tourist attractions nearby have also increased bringing more traffic to the area. This has resulted in an increase and truck traffic, slower car traffic, and tour buses passing within feet of where people eat. We set up our air sampling and monitoring equipment at the places where people dined. We discovered quickly in the investigation that 2.5 p.m. particulates should be our focus. This is important because the size of particulates is directly linked to their potential for causing health problems. Small particulates less than 100 micrometers in diameter pose the greatest problems because they can get deep into your lungs and some may even get into your bloodstream. This can cause numerous health problems. Scientific studies have linked particle pollution exposure to a variety of problems, including premature death in people with heart or lung disease, non-fatal heart attacks, irregular heartbeat, aggravated asthma, decreased lung function, and increased respiratory symptoms, such as irritation of the airways, coughing, or difficulty breathing. Our methodology was to sample street edge particulate emissions from different vehicle types and under varying weather and traffic conditions. What we found was that on an average summer day with no traffic, the PM 2.5 measurement was approximately 2,000 micrograms per cubic meter. When tour buses would come by, the pollutant measurement of PM 2.5 would rise to approximately 10,000 micrograms per cubic meter. Also, motorcycles and the stacking of cars at a red light significantly increases the level of particulate emissions near eating areas. Our data collection was focused on city streets that contain significant outdoor eating and sitting areas. The results of our sampling can be used to develop new standards relative to making outdoor eating a healthier experience. To accomplish the goal of making outdoor street dining healthier, our research leads to the following recommendations. The first recommendation is that tour buses should receive periodic inspections for their emissions. There also appears to be a substantial year-over-year increase in tour bus and commercial traffic on Columbus, and the city should give some thought to rerouting commercial traffic to Bay or other streets. Second, motorcycles appear to have a high level of particle emissions and should be moved away from dining areas. Third, diners are eating within six feet of car tailpipes that are parked along the street. The city should consider moving exhaust pipes more than six feet from someone eating. Fourth, eliminate car stacking at stoplights, especially at Vallejo and Columbus. The cars back up at the light and idle immediately adjacent to the diners at Cafe Puccini, Cafe Greco, and the Parklet. Finally, the city should monitor indoor restaurant air quality for exposure of restaurant workers to long-term air pollutants coming off the street.